Though before we get into this video, I just wanted to take a second to <clears throat> reflect on the, the fact that Mr. Bozeman um, has passed away. Um, to be honest, I just... 2020 sucks. Like, officially, it sucks. And I thought that I could be really positive throughout all this time, at least specifically through this year, but I just... I mean, the first movie I saw Mr. Bozeman in was 42, and I... It was an amazing performance. And then, going on, he was in that movie where he played James Brown, and then he was the Black Panther, and I just... The world really lost someone special, and I just... I just wanted to take a moment and uh, put that out there. <clears throat> all right, so let's get into this video. Um, I figured we could all use a laugh. I know I did. Uh... Hello everyone, it is I, Yasa, from Yasa Tales. You know how your day can be going fine, but then there's always that one person who could say that one thing that always turns your day into horrible? For me, it's my boss. So every time my boss says, Hey Yasa, I have an idea. Despite what I try, I always react the same way. Because you know it just means more work. However, I found myself responding the same way to my coaches, who told me that for me to be on the team and be like everyone else, and because there's no showers throughout the school, and I gotta go to class after practice, I gotta take a shower with all the, I gotta take a shower with everyone. But despite my protest, and I know I didn't want to be the smelly kid in all of school, I had to go through with it. <clears throat> Granted, there was a bit of a compromise I could have done where I could have just worn like swim trunks to the locker room, but I saw this movie, right? I don't remember the name of it, but it was with John Cena. And he had like this little brother who was scrying and stuff, and he joined the football team. John Cena gave this advice that I will never forget. John Cena was like, Listen, guy. When you go into the locker room, don't wear any clothes. It shows confidence. And because I didn't want to get beat up by the football team that I was on, I was just like, all right. <sighs> Time to get naked. So I did just that. I walked right into that locker room. And this is how it went down. Why are you wearing sunglasses? I don't need to see everything. Hey, what's up, Yasa? But because I was getting so much crap for actually wearing sunglasses in the shower, I decided to suck it up, open my eyes, and I saw everything. But anyway, after about three or four times, I finally sucked it up and took a full shower. And yeah. But here's my problem. See, alright, when I'm in the shower, I don't like having conversations. So for some reason, after practice, we go out, we all, 30 of us, go take a shower. And all of a sudden, these guys want to have full on conversations with me. <laughs> hey Yasa, guess I really do have a bigger. Despite how weird these dudes were, <sighs> nothing would compare to the worst day of my life. Go! Hey man, did you drop your soap? No, um, no, it's, it's not even mine anymore, man. Um. Are you going to pick it up? 
I don't, I don't even need so. I'm done. Anyway, I just. Yo, Yasra dropped the stones. You gonna pick that up, man? There's one way out of this. And the plan? There was nothing that's gonna stop me from getting it done. If I want to get off this football team, I can only do one thing. I have to fake an injury. And I knew just how to do it. 